A school crossing guard in the city who was killed when she was hit by a truck last fall is being posthumously promoted. CBS 2's Natalie Dudridge reports the NYPD is also changing policies to make crossing guards' jobs more safe. In honor of her ultimate sacrifice in the line of duty, school crossing guard Christina Napara is hereby promoted to community coordinator. Emotions still raw. A daughter and son accepted an award honoring their mother, Christina Naprawa's posthumous promotion, marking five months since she was killed on the job. School crossing guard Naparo had just safely escorted a group of pedestrians across Atlantic Avenue when she was fatally struck by a turning dump truck. Police say 63-year-old Naprawa was in the crosswalk at Woodhaven Boulevard and Atlantic Avenue when she was hit by a dump truck. The driver stayed on the scene and was charged with failure to yield to a pedestrian. She was a wonderful woman. She was very dedicated when it comes to her jobs. She loved the kids. If she called out sick and she said, can you please put somebody in my post because it's a very busy intersection and I don't want nothing to happen to my babies. Please protect them. To make their jobs safer, the NYPD announced they're implementing critical reforms. The increased visibility and effectiveness. School crossing guards will be equipped with new reflective vests whistles and an 18 inch corrugated stop sign paddle. The NYPD says classroom and field training is being increased to seven days. Part of this field training component will be uh, intersection control, traffic safety device awareness. The city currently employs 2,000 school crossing guards. The NYPD says from now on they should never work alone. There will always be two at each post. That means 124 vacancies must be filled, a hiring process that will take at least six weeks. Today, uh, you get to see that this is actually um, action that's behind the words. A crossing guard union representative says he's happy the NYPD is building on Naprawa's legacy of service and commitment, ensuring increased safety for school children and school crossing guards themselves. In Lower Manhattan, Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News.